Hi, my name is Jake Goodwin. The last 20 years of my life have been influenced by multiple social factors including family, friends, sports, and many others. All of these different factors have made me into who I am today, and I am truly grateful for everything I've experienced. I was born in Indianapolis and grew up in a rural town on the outskirts of Marion County. I was the first born of three children and grew up in an upper middle class family. My mom is one of ten kids, so family has always been part of my life. My parents are probably the single biggest influence on who I've become. From the time I started school, they have always pushed me to become the best that I could possibly be. As much as I hated following all of their rules, I know they did it for my own good, and I would not be here at Butler today without them. This quote pretty much sums up the way my parents raised me. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. I continue to live this motto today, and it is something I hope to pass down to my children. Because I was born into a Catholic family, I spent the first two years of school at a Catholic school. After that, I attended public school until my sixth grade year. Sixth to eighth grade, while attending a different Catholic school, I learned a lot about who I am and really started to become myself. Because I had switched schools multiple times, I never really kept friends for long periods of time. It seemed to change all the time, and because of that, I learned to stick to myself. To me, it was easier, but once high school came, I made some friendships that will last for a lifetime. My friends are like brothers and sisters to me, and I treat them as if they were. We have spent so much time together, and I feel like they know me better than some of my family. And because of this, I know that I can go to any of these people anytime I need to. Without their support, I do not know where I'd be today, and even though we do not go to the same school, they have a very big influence on my life, and they will always be by my side. Early on in life, sports became a major part of my life. I played baseball, basketball, and football all the way throughout high school. I believe sports can change and shape lives almost more than anything else. When looking at sports, it is pretty easy to see where the social theory of functionalism comes into play. I was part of a team and I had my own role that allowed us to succeed. We were all given specific roles to play, which allowed us to thrive. Learning to put the team ahead of you is important in being able to have that success. Although you learn to put the team ahead of you in sports, I believe that there is a greater message to be taken from that. Putting all others before myself is something that is important to me and I will go out of my way to help anyone. Sports also gave me structure and kept me involved in things outside of school. Not only did sports keep me active and in good physical shape, but it also had an effect on me socially. The people I met and practiced with on a daily basis gave me a second family. I spent hours with them every day and established special bonds that will live with me forever. Also, sports taught me to become disciplined and responsible, which became part of my character and will be with me for the rest of my life. I believe that if you move too fast, you are not living life to its fullest. I do not look too far into the future and I try to live day to day in order to get everything possible out of life. I do not take it for granted because you never know when it may be taken away or what I may miss along the way. So one last quote from Ferris Bueller's Day Off that really sums up how I live my life is, Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it.